Hi guys, today we're gonna read a book called Judy Moody Save the World. Crazy Strips Contents Contest Judy Moody did not set out to save the world. She set out to win a contest, a band-aid contest. Judy snapped open her doctor kit. Where was the box of crazy strips? She lifted out the tiny hammer for testing reflexes. Hey, can I try that? Asked Stink, coming into Judy's room. Stink, did you ever hear of going knock-knock? Sure, said Stink. Who's there? Not the joke, said Judy. The thing a little brother is supposed to do before entering a big sister's room. You mean I have to tell a joke just to come in your room? I stink. Never mind, said Judy. Never mind, too. I stink. Stink, just sit on the chair and cross your legs, said Judy. I'm going to test your reflexes. Please don't do doctor stuff to me. Stink said, come on, Stink. Judy tapped Stink's knee with the hammer. Stink's foot shot out and kicked her in the leg. Hey, Stink, did, said Judy, you kicked me. Who do you think you are? A cross, a cross mommy? A walk away? A, a cr- Case all right. I learned it in science. It's a rainforest bird that can't fly, so it kicks its enemies. I'm not a casmo, whatever, says Ding. I just really, I just have really good reflexes. Judy flashed her best avica eyes at Ding. Forget it, said. Forget it, she said, putting the hammer away. Stink reached into Judy's doctor kit and pulled out some crazy strips. Stink, I told you not to steal my crazy strips. Now this box is empty, as in all gone. I told you I'll put your arm in a sling if you don't, if you didn't stop stealing my stuff. Stink did not want his arm in a sling again, especially when it isn't broken. Give it! Said Judy, taking the box from Stink. I want to read about the contest. Contest? Asked Stink. What do we do? What do we have to do? Judy read the box. Crazy strips. Fifth annual. Design your own bandage contest. Create your own crazy strips. Draw with pencils, crayons, or markers. Think of a theme. Go wild with a style. Be outrageous. Be you. You mean we draw something to go on a crazy strip? I think. What do we win? Judy, read on. Thirteen top designs designs will be chosen to be print on crazy stripes. Just think. Kids all across the country will be wearing your creative, colorful crazy strip. Is that all? I think. Rare. As Judy said, I, Judy Moody, could have my own crazy strip. They have to tell you to win something, Stink said, grabbing the box from Judy. Just think, Neil's ankles and elbows everywhere, everywhere will be wearing a Judy Moody original. Even Elizabeth Blackwell, first woman doctor, didn't have her own crazy strip. Oh, brother, says Stink, before you get too famous, can I use some of your skinny markers? For what? Judy said. I want to draw a crazy strip, too. It says here, the grand prize is a pair of rollerblades. Rollerblades? Let me see that. Top winner, crazy strip of the ear rollerblades plus the design printed on a crazy strip for one year. Runners up, crazy strip of the month, crazy strip, strip, sunglasses plus your design, printed on a crazy strip for one month. All practicals revealed, honorable mention confused. Dream on, Stink. One kid in the whole entire United States of America gets really blames. So, so look at the some kids.
who won last year. They're ten year olds. Eleven. One is thirteen. That's a teenager. You're only seven. And the in the quarter quarter says me, "You'll have to be Pitsko for them to pick your design." She said, "Who?" You know the guy who painted all those blue people. Then let me borrow your blue marker," says Dink. Judy dumped all the markers, crayons, color pencils, and pastels she had on the floor. Stink grabbed the first blue marker he saw and started to draw. "What are you drawing, bats?" says Stink. "Blue bats. You're bats." Said Judy, "People don't like bats, but bats eat millions of insects." Said Stink, "People should like bats." I know that," said Judy, "but I'm just saying bats are not going to be a teenager." Stink kept right on coloring bats. "Your bats sure have big ears," said Judy. "They're vega, vega, big ear." Bats. Oh," said Judy. Stink was a good artist, but Judy didn't want him thinking he was a genius or anything. He, she had to dream up a good as Pesco idea, better than ugly old bats, better than a teenager. She wanted her Judy Moody crazy step to be seen all across the USA. The world, the universe. Stink, stop squeaking," said Judy. "It's the magic markers. I can't think with all that squeaking." Judy said. Judy studied some. Judy studied some of the other winners on the box from last year. There were ladybugs, flowers, soccer balls, rainbows, and peace signs. Happy, happy, happy. Judy. Judy tried to think of something happy to draw on a crazy strip. She drew smiley faces: yellow, red, blue, green, and purple. Purple smiley faces. Underneath, she wrote: crazy strips, cur, bad moods. Everyone draws smiley faces," said Dad. "Stink. Who?" asked Judy. "Heather Strong in my class." And teenagers, Stink was right. Smiley faces were not good enough to decorate the ankle ankles of millions. Smiley faces were not good enough to win the rollerblades. Smiley faces were not Pisco. Judy turned her crazy strip upside down. The smiley faces, sorry, turned into bad mood faces. Nobody wants a cranky, crazy strip," Stink said. "Roar," said Judy. "They like it if you have a message," said Stink. "But I can't think of a message about bats. How about Batty for band aids? That's good," said Stink. "Said said Stink. Thanks." Stink was already done with his crazy strip, and Judy still did not. Have a single idea, not one expression. Okay, let's go mail this," says Stink. Fresh air. That was it. Maybe Judy's brain just needed some good old-fashioned oxygen. On the way to the mailbox, Stink asked, "Do you think I'll win? What am I, a crystal ball?" Asked Judy. "How long do you think it takes?" And Stink dropping the envelope into the big blue box. Longer than one second, said Judy. On the way home, Judy gulped in fresh air. You look like a goldfish in a toilet, Stink said. It's no use. Fresh air was not helping. Fresh air just made her look like a toilet fish. Stink's crazy strip was already in the mail. What if Stink win the contest? What if she could never, ever, ever come up with an idea? She, Judy Moody, was in a mood. Batty, 
Oh, we're gonna stop right there. See you at the next chapter. Bye.